Dreams Unfulfilled From the time of early childhood, most children have been reared to believe if they can conceive it and believe it, they can achieve it. Whether it be their own personal dreams or dreams cultivated in them by parents or others, children are taught they can be anything they would like to be and to never stop striving towards their goals. Visions of grandeur and high position dance through their minds like sugar plums on Christmas Eve. They approach the world as if it was their very own oyster in search of their majestic pearl, the pearl that will bestow upon them all that they have wished and hoped for. Not afraid of hard work, and driven by ambition, they toil on tirelessly towards their objective, giving every fiber of their being. In some sense, it is appropriate to foster hope, a strong work ethic, and goal setting. But what happens when the success they have strived for does not pan out? Or maybe they do achieve their elusive and lofty dreams only to find it doesn't bring them the satisfaction or fulfillment they hope for. Either way, they find themselves empty and barren. For a career can never fill the place in their heart God created especially for himself. They start to reevaluate their lives, trying to figure out where I go wrong. But in all their worldly pursuits, they have forgotten the one needful thing, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Maybe they were never taught about Jesus, or maybe they were too busy to care. For they believed the secret to happiness in life was attending a prestigious university getting a great job, lots of material wealth, or even maybe their family. None of these things are wrong when viewed from a Christian perspective. But before any of these things, God must come first and be the center of their lives. Matthew 6.33 Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. The Bible makes it clear in James 1.17. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like a shifting shadow. All the dreams that are instilled and nurtured within people are secondary for God's will for their life will be done as he sees fit. As he reigns in heaven, he also reigns on earth. He reaches out to us as sons and daughters, for he loves us. He wishes all people to be saved through saving faith in his only begotten son. Proverbs twenty three twenty six. My son, give me your heart and let your eyes delight in my ways. At times in our lives, we will face great adversity. We will face overwhelming disappointment. Sometimes God will close a door and open another. Sometimes we will have to continue to pray to seek that which our hearts desire. But we must always be led by the Holy Spirit and submit to God in all things and all ways. We do this by letting the Lord lead us as we submit to his perfect will for our lives. O Lord, thy God, creator of all things, 
holy by your grace teach us to seek your face and submit to your way rid us of our self-seeking ways that we may blindly follow your roadmap for our lives in perfect submission to you amen this is adam christian with trusting god in the dark christian podcast until the next time be blessed